it's not a bad little view from here. If uh, you ignore the heaps dead bodies signs. <laughs> uh, looks alright. Looks canny. What is up guys, Major Magpie here, and welcome back to City Skylines. That out there is my city of Magtropolis. And uh, yeah, this is what we've done last time, the little ski resort. Uh, you have to pretend that the cables are here, that's the only thing. But you know, you, you guys have got imaginations, right? <laughs> uh, there is a way to put them in, and I know how to do it, but I'm not going to bother because it involves using electric cables. And you don't get two, you get four lines, and it just looks even sillier than it does if you can't see them where they are. Zoom out, yeah. You know, you can just imagine it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, up here, guys, I want to go ahead and put in a lodge. Uh, I did want to put this in the last episode, but we didn't get round to it, so I just want to pop it in now quickly. And it is this thing here, the Winter Resort Lodge. Uh, and I just want to put this on the top of here. Uh, I've been contemplating what I'm going to put up here, and I think what I might do is just put a handful of houses and commercial uh, buildings. I don't want to go too wild, so maybe it's just 10 to 15 buildings in all, uh, just on the top of this hill, and maybe have to re-sculpt it a little bit and just change the shape, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how we get on. These guys up here want water and electric, so we'll, how far we've got to go to give them that. Not far at all, so we might as well do it. Uh, let's just switch over there. You've got elect uh, water, sorry, and electric. What we'll do is we'll use the underground tool. So that is that one, and um, we'll just link all of these up. So link that, link that, and then there we go. And even the train station is going to get power this time. Uh, I have gone ahead and linked the train station up to our line. I haven't actually put any lines on it yet, any routes on it. Uh, but I will get round to that. It's literally just going to be a one-stop service. It's going to go from here to that big old beastie train station over there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Little lodge. Little lodge. Yeah. Uh, there is a, another unique building I want to put in in this episode. And I also want to do a construction site. And I was thinking we could put them both in down here. Uh, there is quite a few buildings I do want to put in down here. Um, but before I go ahead and crack on with that, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just head on over to our racetrack. Because I've actually got some good little um, like scenery items to go in here, I suppose. It's like racing cars. So I've already got them pre-selected on here, I believe. Yeah, these. Yeah, look at these. They go perfect on our racetrack, so we need to find somewhere to just put these in. Just spin them. I want to put a few on the track, I think. And we're just going to change Collide off so we can put them on the roads. And that's what I'm going to do. I want to put one there. And another one just behind it. Just angle it ever so slightly. And another one coming out of this corner here. No, no, but we'll come out the other corner, this one here. Boom. It just gives our racetrack a little bit of uh, character, I suppose. Uh, let's just figure out which way. Uh, they're actually going backwards around the track, I've just realised. But that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> they're doing the reverse track. Yeah, they know that. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's just put one on this corner here. Well, actually, I'm going to put three here. We'll put one there. There, and a yellow one, just a bit further in front of that, like so. I want to put a couple, maybe it's, can I, we can't get any in the car park. I would like to pr probably put a car park out here, or I can build a car park from scratch now, because I've got all the road markings and road tools. So I'll probably go ahead and do that, and then just put a few in the car park with a few lorries and stuff. Uh, for them to be sitting in the back of. But yeah, well, I'll just go and plop a few more in and around the track. So if we go over another red one. And up his backside is going to be a yeah, blue one, like so. He's going for the overtake. He's coming up the corner quicker. Boom, boom. <laughs> um, over here, we'll, we'll put three on this corner here. We'll go with another yellow one. Just spin him so he's facing the same direction as everybody else. He's just going into the corner. Uh, two of these. Is that black, is it? Or white and black, I don't even know. It's uh, two of the same. 
like that. And then maybe two more. Have we got any more colours on here? No, we haven't. That's all of them. So we're going to go with uh, another two yellow. Just change the direction of these to there. And this one is just coming out of this corner here. So one. Um, another black one. And a yellow one. And a red one, further back, probably just coming into this corner here. It's coming from out wide, so so we get a nice, so we get the longest angle possible. So um, yeah, they look pretty awesome, them actually. They look cool. Let's zoom down and have a look. Look at that! Wow! <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame there's no stands of people watching them. I'd have to see if I can find one of them on the mod market. Uh, okay, that's that done. And let's head over to our Lake District area. Or Lake Windermere, whatever it's called. It's this area here. One thing I do want to do before we leave this episode, actually, is name a district that I meant to do in the last episode. And what I'm going to do is go ahead, first of all, just come up with that menu there. Let's go ahead and... Put in one of the unique buildings I want to put in, and this is the Burj Khalifa from Dubai. And this is some huge building, it's massive, it's huge. This was opened in January the 4th, construction started on it in January 2004, sorry, and then it was opened in January the 4th, 2010. Uh, from the base to the tip is a whopping 830 meters. Yeah, you'd hate to fall out of space onto the top of that, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, 1.5 million. It is pretty pricey. But, uh, yeah, let's do it. Boom. Wow. Let's just uh, drop down and then take a look up at this mega structure. It just keeps going. <laughs> okay, we've got some roads on the bottom here. Then we need to go ahead and clean... Uh, just. Join them up, I think, uh, and I would also like to put like a little parkland area in and around the bottom of here. Um, but I think I'll probably do that off cam because it might be a little bit tedious. So I just want to change these for more main roads. We don't want more main roads. We want to go with the already two-way road, one direction sort of thing. Uh, and I'm going to go with a funny angle-y thingy -y, like so, and then straight onto that road. I want to just extend you to there, extend you to there, get the curved road again, out to there, across to there, and something like that. And then I'm just going to join that road straight on. Well, actually, we could go over there, couldn't we? Yeah, we'll do that so we don't have to, so we don't have like a double junction. So let's just go to there, to there, to there, and then to there. And I've just realised that I've left that on overlap all the way around there. And I might have to fix that. Never mind. Just delete the trees. Manually. And there. Uh, there we go. That's that connected up. What I'll go ahead and do is I'll put a few footpaths in, a few park benches. Maybe it's a little park, I suppose. Um, and loads of foliage and stuff and just tidy that up. So it's, it'll have a nice tidy little base down there. Uh, and the other thing I did want to do, and I want to do this probably in this area here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue that road there, first of all, to probably there. And then join that on to the roundabout. And then in here, in the space here, what I want to do is put in a construction site, so a half-constructed building. Uh, and I was, I did want to put it in here, but I wasn't sure on the location. And I, yeah, I'm decided on this area here. Um, so, first of all, before we go ahead and put it in, I want to just jump into single roads. Uh, and we want a dirt track, a two-lane gravel road. And this is what our new half-constructed building is going to sit on. So probably about there. That'll be deep enough. Uh, let's go and find it. Should be in here. Already pre-selected. 
And it is this thing here, the construction site. I don't wanna, oh, it doesn't quite fit. It's a little bit annoying. Okay, let's just rejig that then. Just take that from there. And what I'll do is I'll put that dirt track going the other direction. And we'll get it in that way. I don't want to join it to the actual roads because I want to put a, a wooden fence all the way around to signal like a construction site. So we've got that. Right, let's just join that building on here. So like that. Boom. That's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, what I want to go ahead and do off cam is just put in a wooden fence just all the way around this area here. Um, and then this can be a massive construction site. Uh, what I do want to do as well though, I want to go ahead and put in, in a few excavators and uh, and whatnot on here. So let's go ahead and find these guys. Uh, should be around here somewhere. There we go, we've got a couple here. Dif uh, buckets in different positions. So we've got to ex excavate a straight. Uh, and I want to put in probably two of these. So one there, just turn one like that. I'm gonna put him there. Actually, I want to put three, and we'll put one up here as well. And uh, we'll there. And um, we'll get the other one, which is this one here. And um, we'll put you there. And I'm sure we've got some more. Yeah, I've got a few big dumpers here, so we've got a dump truck. And I want to put two of these side by side. So one, just turn one a little bit like that. Two. Uh, here, like that, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to connect that road up to the main road. Uh, so we jump back in the road tool. Uh, we've got our gravel road there, straight onto there. I think if I can get away with it, I, I might run that around here. Can we put that on there? I'll take snapping off and see if I can squeeze the road down the middle. Snapping's supposed to be off, but it's still snapping. It doesn't make sense. The roads are definitely mucked up now, but anyways, it it doesn't matter because I can go ahead and paint it. Can't we? we can we can paint it all solidly color, whatever this is. Yeah. Um, let's just reduce the size of that tool because we don't want to paint like the entire bloody map. Uh, and let's just paint all of this. Is it painting? Are you gonna paint or? Yeah. Come on, paint it. Well, I'm just going to pause time actually because it's about it. Get a little bit dark, and we don't want it dark. I don't know why I'm talking Irish. Okay, let's have it there. A little bit more over here if we can get it in. There we go. And then what I'll go ahead and do is I'll put in a wooden fence in and around there. I'm not going to do it on cam because that will be super tedious. Let's go and just remove these trees from here because they would have been demolished to start with. And it's a, uh, yeah, I mean, it's our half constructed building. I think I do have a few other props like uh, cranes, um, cement mixers and things like that. But I'll, I'll, I'll have to go ahead and find them because I don't think they've got icons on them. Oh, there's a T70. I'm sure that's a bulldozer, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a, a few of them. We'll put one... It's just making its way down the side here. Oh, we'll just straighten you in there. Bob the Builder. Yeah. Um. Okay, I've got another two there. I want to go ahead and put in some cabins. I do have some cabins as well, but I think, again, it's one of these stupid square things because it hasn't been named but we'll put in a few pallets we've got a few we've got a pile let's just turn this what is this one this one's pallet full so we've got a few yeah we'll put in a, a few of these which will one just change the corner right, just spin it around uh, something like that And I 
I'll continue to put them in off cam. I think that'll be look pretty awesome. Let's just delete these trees as well. Right. Okay. Now, one other thing I was thinking of. Wait, two other things. One is this area over here. This needs some fun. Uh, and I will have to put some stuff in and around here eventually. Um, but, I was figuring we could go with, start with a skate park or two. Uh, that's also one of the new buildings here. This thing here, the skate park, is a rec recreational environment specifically made for skateboarding, BMX, scooter, and inline skating. Now, I'll go ahead and put a few of these in here, I think, because you have a nice little red zone over here where they're not particularly happy because they've got no fun activities in and around here. So, we'll have these guys out eh, for four grand. It's, uh, it's cheap. And I'll put one there. Boom. Yes, happy. I'm actually going to put one... Yeah, opposite as well. I'm going to put one here. Boom. Hopefully that hasn't gone... It has. That's quite annoying. Um, delete. Yes. Overlap off. I'm going to put that back in. A lot of happy people! Right, uh, a couple of other things we could do. Uh, I've downloaded another nightclub and we actually deleted a nightclub that was located over here. Um, I did that off camera ages ago and I didn't actually put it back in, so we could go ahead and put these guys in now. This being our nightclub environment down here, so to speak. And so, that's gonna get one here, I know it's a bit tight. Can we get one in here? Oh, we can't. We could probably get two in here, actually. Right, what we got here then? This one is. Let's just go all the way to the beginning and try and find them. So we've got Club Celsius. Building all of it exists. Club Kelvin. Needs to go in. So let's put one in there. Right, and uh, next up is Club Fahrenheit. That one's already in. And this is the new one, Club Alpha. So I'm going to put Club Alpha right next door. Is again. Up Kelvin. There we go. Two of them. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. The same as starter looked pretty awesome. Uh, our building here is after electricity. It mustn't be far away, surely. Yeah, I'll fettle that off. Um, but um, yeah, I'm happy with the day's work. That looks pretty cool. We've put in some more epic buildings, including the lodge over there. Um, look at that. Half-built skyscraper and probably our biggest skyscraper in the Burj Khalifa. I mean, that is a, it's a pretty beasty building, that. I think that is, that's got to be our biggest building, hasn't it? Let's have a look. Just try and get on the right height. Yeah, we need to get closer to start with. <laughs> Yeah, it actually is. It's our biggest building all the way to the tip. Look at the height of it. Huge! <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Um, probably going to tackle this area here in the next episode. Again, we can go ahead and put in some train lines. I've got an industrial train station to go in here, uh, like a passenger train station. Uh, probably want to put two of them in, actually. One in and around here. Get rid of this one and one over there. We've got a harbour up there to go and... Also, this train station can go as well because these, once we get them plugged in, will all be harbour train stations. So that one, I like industrial train station, so we'll not need this one over here at the cargo terminal. It'll be completely irrelevant and useless. I mean, as you can see, since we put that in, it had traffic every day. Now, you know, the odd truck coming in and out. So there's really no need for it. It serves no purpose now. It can go. But, um, yes, guys, until the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.